thank you. <laughs> Antonio had to go peeps, and he made it back in time for the whole commercial, and I didn't even have to bring it up, but I felt the need. Our next guest got rave reviews. It was Zorro or, thing. It was Zorro. <laughs> I don't even want to get into that. He got rave reviews for his performance in the wonderful movie Sling Blade. Now he joins the talented cast of Crazy in Alabama. Please welcome 17-year-old cutie Lucas Black. Yes, sir. <laughs> Fine, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Very nice to meet you. This is your first talk show, I understand. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Do you watch this program ever? Uh, I have once or twice. Once or twice, yeah. <laughs> Did you enjoy it? I thought it was pretty funny. Okay, good. <laughs> good. Just getting that out of the way. So cool. you don't watch a lot of TV, I hear? No, I sure don't. How There's... come? Any reason? Well, I spend most of my time playing sports or hunting or fishing, so. So how'd you get into the whole showbiz thing? Well, it was kind of strange. It just happened. Mama, she heard an audition on the radio, and um, it was uh, an audition nearby our a CD close to where we live, yeah. and we went to it, and that was for the war. The Kevin Costner yeah. film? Just looked up and got the part. You did? Yeah. <laughs> now, had you been a movie fan before that? Um, not really, you know. I've watched a couple of movies. You watched a couple? Yeah, yeah. But, but I really didn't even know there was a such thing as acting. <laughs> really? <laughs> I was 10 years old, you know. Yeah. You know. <laughs> so what's your method for acting like this movie? Do you have the Stanislavski method? What do you do? You just read the script and... Just read the script. Do, do whatever the director says. <laughs> That's pretty much... <laughs> well, they must be telling you what to do pretty well because you're doing a great job. That movie Sling Blade, that was an amazing performance. Thanks. Thanks. You're welcome. Yeah. How did it feel when you went to the movie theater and saw yourself for the first time in a major role like that, in a, a movie that was so critically acclaimed? Well, it kind of felt like watching a home video. It did? Yeah. Yeah. You know, because sometimes me and my sister and brother would just fool around and film ourselves in home videos, or we might go camping or something. Right, right. So it kind of felt like it. Felt like the same thing. Yeah. What, what did your friends think of it? Your friends go see you? Were they very impressed that you're a movie star guy? Uh, well, they thought it was pretty neat, you know, that they have somebody from... Uh, a little community called Speak, Alabama, that would be in a movie. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, they just uh, think it's pretty cool, and they always wonder if uh, I could get them hooked up in a movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and do you think you can? I don't know. Uh, that's pretty hard to do. It is. <laughs> I might try one of these days. Now, do you think that you'll be an actor when you're a grown-up adult? You're only 17 now, right? Yeah. Um, well, I don't know. Maybe do one every year, but you never can tell. Yeah. I don't know what I'm going to do. Think you're going to go to college? Yeah, I'm going to go to college. Yeah, what do you want to study? Uh, fish biology. Fish biology? Yeah. Are you a good fisherman? Um, well, that's a matter of opinion, but <laughs> I'm pretty good. You're pretty good? Yeah. I'm pretty good. Are you? Yeah. I'm not bad. Do you know what I got? What? The banjo lure. Have you ever seen that on TV? Yeah, I've seen that. I ordered that. Yeah. There's a, there's a, one of my favorite lures is kind of like that lure. It's called a fluke. Yeah. It's just like it. It moves just like it. Because yeah. they say that the banjo lure smells like a fish to the other yeah. fish. Do you yeah. think that's true? No. I don't either. <laughs> <laughs> I don't either. I did a lot of fishing this summer. Really? And you know, did you ever see a mudfish? Mudfish. It looks like, like a, a catfish? Yeah. Cat? Yeah. yeah, it looks sort of like a catfish, but they yeah. call it a mudfish or a rockfish. Yeah. It's the ugliest looking thing you've ever seen. Are you good at getting the hook out of the fish? Yeah. 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 Not me. We, we mostly bass fish. Oh, you do? Yeah. 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 Largemouth bass, you know, spotted bass. Right. Excellent. How are you liking your first talk show appearance so far? Uh, I like it. It's not bad, right? Yeah. <laughs> you ever been to New York before? Yeah. Yeah. Do yeah. you like it here? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. So, uh, what did you think about the Atlanta Braves? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you got a llama here today, man. Generally, when people are on the show, they're kind to the host. <laughs> they don't love the host's nose and the fact that their team lost, young man. Uh, I'm glad that you enjoyed their victory because that's the last one they're going to see this year. Come on now. Brave. You have a clip, you know, you're going to set it up. This is your first time setting up a clip on this movie. Good, set it up. Well, it's... Um 
P.J. and Aunt Lucille, and they're saying goodbye to each other. Aunt Lucille's going to Hollywood after she cut her head, husband's head off. There you go. Crazy <laughs> in Alabama. Take a look. Look this way. There you go. You must be crazy, Aunt Lucille. All I know is you only got one life, P.J. You can't sit around waiting for your next life to start. <laughs> Not when you see your big chance about to pass you right by. I shouldn't have told you all this, P. Joe. I don't want anybody to know what I did or where I'm going. So you just forget all about it. Just block it out of your mind, okay? Had a boy. I knew I could trust you. You've always been my special buddy, you know. It's Lucas Black from Alabama. Thank you for my T-shirt. Oh, uh, yeah. Continue to live there in Alabama, and you don't move out to Hollywood and become one of those Hollywood actor boys. I'll stay in Alabama. You promise? Yeah. I'll there you go. All right. Don't go away. The man who French kissed me and lived to tell. Meatloaf after the break. <laughs>